Bitcoin Origins and Overview What is BTC Answered? The history of Bitcoin has been a turbulent one, and right now we're in one of the most tumultuous periods in its history, as it has spent the entirety of 2020 falling further and further from its peak value. How did we get to where we are nowadays with Bitcoin? How did it start? What were its forebearers? And what have been the Bitcoin journey's unexpected turns? Let's take a long walk through the timeline and find out. Before we continue, we welcome you to the Crypto Hub, the YouTube channel where you can find everything about the crypto world. If you're new here, hit subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified of new videos. We'll be presenting interesting content about Bitcoin. Something as uncertain as Bitcoin was never going to be smooth sailing. Many tried a crypto digital currency before it, and they were not able to crack it fully. Since Bitcoin became a reality nearly a decade ago, there have been a few highs and a few lows. For a few Bitcoin proprietors, that's part of the appeal. Bitcoin is a new type of exchange mechanism called cryptocurrency. It is a way to store financial transactions in a publicly accessible database called a blockchain. This chain essentially keeps a history of the data within a series of blocks. Each time a new block is added to a chain, the blockchain system synchronizes its updated data with a hundred or even thousands of other servers. It's a killer feature, as it means you can create decentralized applications that can make and edit data irrespective of geographic location and local regulations. Blockchain is a way to save, manage, and process data saved across a multitude of nodes worldwide. Blockchain can store data in a much more secure, transparent, and accessible way. Businesses can harness data that they never knew they had access to, and public members can take advantage of applications built around to access the data. Let's move towards the origin of Bitcoin. Concept of eCash, 1982 to 1997. Let us go back as far as 1982. That's when computer scientist David Chom first proposed the concept of eCash. Already concerned with security in the digital realm back in the early 80s, Chom proposed a paper entitled Blind Signatures for Untraceable Payments that had the detail of a modern form of cryptography. He claimed he could make an automated payment system where third parties could not see the payment information. Chom tried to put this idea into practical use in 1990 by creating Digicash. Digicash had established in Amsterdam, designed as Bitcoin would be, to make fast online cash. Chom's reputation as a brilliant mind pulled in both employees and venture capitals alike, but the product itself never caught on, and by the late 90s, Digicash was bankrupt badly. Still, Chom opened the floodgates for other cypherpunks with similar aspirations. In 1997, Adam Back designed Hashcash, a proof-of-work system that would demonstrate astoundingly identical Bitcoin uses. Rise of Two Cryptocurrency Ideas, 1998 This year saw the sudden rise of two cryptocurrency ideas. In late 1998, Wei Dai released a simple version for B-Money, a cryptocurrency whose trade reads similarly to what the blockchain and Bitcoin would inevitably become. That same year, Nick Sosbo put out a similar proposal for Bitgold. Sosbo's thinking for alternative money was to create something that did not require a third party, like a central bank, to create or manage it. Understanding the proof of work gets you bits, and the last bit of the string is used to make another exchange series, similar to Bitcoin's blockchain. Neither of these proposals, however, came to fulfillment. Finally, Bitcoin came, 2008. Those predecessors had attempted and failed for two decades prior. In 2008 came Bitcoin. In August of that year, Bitcoin.org was registered. Two months later, a white paper was published. Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. The white paper's ideas had similar aspirations to the already mentioned papers. Secure digital signatures, not requiring the utilization of a third party, proof of work, and hashing the exchanges together to create a chain. Satoshi Nakamoto, an unknown person or bunch of people, wrote the Bitcoin paper. Genesis Block 2009 Just a couple of days into 2009, Bitcoin's first ever block, known as the Genesis Block, was mined. By January 9th, the first iteration of Bitcoin software was released. 
On January 12th, the first ever Bitcoin exchange happened as Nakamoto sent 10 Bitcoins to famous computer programmer Hal Finney. In October, the New Liberty Standard published the first Bitcoin trade rate in the young cryptocurrency's history, considering $1 to be worth 1,309.03 BTC. In December, Nakamoto released the second version of the software. Security issues arise. 2011. Consistently making gains in value after finally passing one cent threshold in February 2011, a critical breakthrough happened. One Bitcoin was worth one dollar for the first time. Bitcoin started receiving press, both good and bad. Time Magazine published a write-up about Bitcoin for the first time, but there was a commentary on Gawker detailing Silk Road. In this dark web drug market, Bitcoin was used regularly as payment. The exposure got people talking, and by June, Bitcoin was worth over $30. Before long after, it smashed back down to about $10. In June, Mt. Gox was hit by a severe security breach that compromised tens of thousands of accounts and their Bitcoins. It would not be the first security issue Mt. Gox dealt with. Still, Bitcoin became an entity that more and more of the public knew about, and intrigue in cryptocurrency grew. It gave rise to altcoins, other forms of cryptocurrency whose developers were either trying to progress upon Bitcoin or had made the digital coin for a different purpose. All right, friends, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. We always bring something new and up to date for you so that you can enjoy the crypto world. Before moving ahead, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Crypto Hub to keep up with us. Keep watching. We are going to start a more exciting part of Bitcoin history. Increment in Bitcoin Price, 2012. If 2011 was a choppy year for Bitcoin, 2012 was the smoother sailing year. Among outstanding moments for Bitcoin on its way to becoming the world's top computerized coin was its crossing the $100 edge in April. Bitcoin's cost saw its share of ups and downs in 2013, but it passed a value of $1,000 for the first time and got to be the most recognizable and influential wallet available. And then it slowed down for a while. Quickly in January 2014, it fell below $1,000 and battled below the basic level for many years. The most critical year for Bitcoin, 2017. 2017, though, was the foremost vital and busiest year for Bitcoin. After spending 2016 trying to claw its way back up, 2017 was when it finally reached and passed the $1,000 stamp. It kept rising. By June, Bitcoin was worth over $3,000. Still, a few Bitcoin clients were baffled with the network around this time as well. The rising number of Bitcoin miners implied higher expenses and more time spent processing exchanges, leading a few to extend the block size. In August, Bitcoin Cash made it through a fork in the network. Bitcoin Cash is presently the fifth largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Still, for the remainder of 2017, Bitcoin was on the rise. By October, it was topping $6,000. It ended November at nearly $10,000, and by the end of December, Bitcoin hit a top of $19,783. Increasingly, people and companies started chasing the trend as the cost just kept rising. Another harsh year for Bitcoin, 2018. 2018 has been a harsh year for Bitcoin users, especially ones who held on expecting the cost would keep rising. Many sold their Bitcoins whereas they could, and the price has consistently dropped all year. As of this composing, Bitcoin's price is at $6,542.78, a decline of 67%. Backed launches, 2019. 2019 saw the launch of one of the most anticipated Bitcoin projects, Backed. Unlike standard crypto exchanges, Backed does not handle actual Bitcoin. Instead, it sells investment contracts or futures. The launch of Bact marked a regulatory milestone for crypto startups that aim to serve institutional investors. Flash crash, halving, and PayPal adoption 2020. 2020 has proven to be an eventful year for Bitcoin. Various factors caused a flash crash in March, while May marked Bitcoin's third halving. However, most notable is PayPal's recent decision to buy and sell Bitcoin on its payments website. This is a mainstream adoption level that has never been seen before. 
Despite some recent setbacks and questions about its long-term viability, there are many reasons to think that Bitcoin is still the wave of the future in 2021. We hope you got all the answers about the origin of the Bitcoin establishment, so don't forget to subscribe to The Crypto Hub for more exciting content. This channel is all about Bitcoin and the crypto world. If you have any questions and want to hear something more unique, add your comments below. Thanks for watching The Crypto Hub. We will catch up in the following video. Goodbye.